Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn about how to find sum of n natural numbers using C language. So we will write C program to take any input and it prints sum of the numbers from 1 to itself. So if we enter 5, so we will write logic to calculate 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 15. So this is something similar to factorial of a number, which we saw as program number two. So only difference is that here we will add the numbers and instead of multiplication. So if the input number is four and the output should be four plus three plus two plus one. So which is equal to seven plus two nine plus one, which is 10. So if the input is four, output should be 10. So as always, you can use editor of your choice. So you, I can, you can either use Turbo C editor, Dev C++ editor, or Visual Studio Community Edition. So, or any other editor which you're comfortable with, you can write the code which I'm going to explain now. So with that, let's get started. I will be using Visual Studio Community Edition. So let's get started. So first step is include stdio.h, the header file, and include coneivo.h. And now I'm going to write here author, author, I'm going to write, so my name, Meghnath, and then the purpose of it is, the purpose of this program is to read a number and print sum of, sum of n natural numbers up to n. Okay, so now let's get started. So void main where program execution starts and then we need to first, the first step is variable declaration. So here I'm going, I need to read a number from the user int input and I need to loop through from one to n so that I need to add it. So I'm going to write i and also I need to store the sum in another variable. So I'm going to write sum is equal to zero. Now the next logic, next point is read the number from user. So here I'm going to write display message for the user, enter any number, enter any number. And then here I'm going to write here scanf, I'm going to write person D comma, person D comma, ampersand, input ampersand for scanf and person D for an integer. Now we need to write the logic. So actual logic we need to write for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to input, i plus plus. So I need to loop through from one to itself. Here sum is equal to sum plus i. And so every time i value one, it'll add to sum, two add to sum, three add to sum, four. So the numbers, consecutive numbers will be added to sum. And last one, we need to print the logic, print the output. And here we need to write, so printf, I'm going to write person D, so sum of person D natural numbers is person D. So in case of first person D, I need to print input. In case of second person D, I need to print sum. And last, we need to give get CH. That's it. So this is the program that, now let's get start. Let me execute this and then let me explain you. And now you can see here that enter any number. I'm going to enter, let's take five. You can see sum of five natural numbers is 15. So I'll just change, make a change here, yes. Now I'm going to run this once again, and this time I'm going to enter six, and you should be able to see the output as 21. Let's see this. See here, sum of six natural numbers is 21. Now, now let's try to understand more on this. So the best thing about Visual Studio is that it's very easy for you to put a breakpoint. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here. So just click on the leftmost side that will give you a red dot. That's a breakpoint. And breakpoint is normally used to understand the flow, right? So let me execute this. Now you can see here, the first step is it's asking me to enter a number. I'm going to enter number four. And now, now you can see here, LO highlight indicates that the program execution stopped there. So when I move the mouse on this, as of now, I value is not, this step has not been executed. So I'm going to press F10. So I'm holding F in button and press F10. Now you can see here, 
So i value is 1 and some value is 0 at this point of time because I initialized to 0. Now input value is 4. So 1 less than or equal to 4. True. Now some plus i. So that will become 1. Now i value becomes 2. So now say this i value is 2. So 2 plus 1. So this will be added to and some value becomes 3. So let me press F10 and now you can see some value is 3. Now again I value becomes 3. 3 plus 3 it will become 6. Now let me press F10. Now you can see some value is 3 and I value is 3 now and so that will become 6 now. Some value is 6. Now last one I value input I value is 4. Now I value becomes 4. Let me press F10. Now you can see I value is 4. 6 plus 4 and that will become 10. So now the sum value is 10 and now i value becomes 5 which is not less than 4. Loop will stop. Now say this, it will come outside the loop and here it will print sum of 4 natural numbers is 10. So let me print, let me press F10. Now let me execute this. So like this the flow happens and we can understand like how the for loop has happened, right? So thanks for watching and do subscribe for more videos and also share with your friends so that it will help everyone. Thanks for watching.